Hi guys, Annette from Aussie Reborn Supplies and Miracle Baby's Newborn Nursery here. Today we're going to start a video on a newborn painting on a reborn baby. First I want you to start with the washing of the kit. I'm going to put a little tag above so you can see my previous video on how to wash your kit. Let's get started! Okay guys, I am finally back and we're going to get started today with the newborn painting class. I'm so, so very excited for all of you guys. Now, if you're new to uh, Miracle Babies Nursery, um, then this will probably really benefit you, especially if you're new into the reborning community. Um, if you're old, old, <laughs> not old, but you've been with me for a while, um, you might have some of these techniques that I'm going to do in this uh, will be very similar um, to what I've done in other tutorials. Um, maybe with a little bit, bit of a hint of a twist of change, um, but that all is really good in retrospect of the whole thing. So we're going to get started. You've just seen that I've already washed my kit um, and here she is. It's the Sarah kit by Marissa May. Um, and um, after we've done the washing, the, you know, one of the biggest thing is your hands. Make sure your hands are really, really clean. So some people will use glo um, gloves when they're holding their kit. Other people will use uh, the white um, cotton gloves, you know, that you use in dusting. Um, I just prefer to use my own hands, so I just make sure that I clean them well um, before I start. And I try not to touch the kit as much too much, so I try to just be touching um, like the inside of the kit and that base part that's what I try to commit to within that now within our first start of this whole thing um, you need to look at your kit first and and what you think of the actual coloring um, this is a bountiful baby kit as most of you will know and I'm actually I always like the bountiful baby kits um, I have no problem with them I actually have no problem with any kit but some people really hate um, the, what the beginning color of a kit is and that's when they want to change it. So you will need a color wheel for that um, I've got a little little link up there to how to use a color wheel So with the color wheel, you'll just have a look at what your kit color is. So um, The best color uh, for this baby with this kit is actually pink. So if I wanted to um, tone down the pink I would come in with like a mint green with like which is just the earth mint green you'll see in a lot, around a lot in the Genesis heat set colors um, but like I said I like it how it is um, if you had a really orangey color kit you just go opposite to what you are what your kit is so um, you can either look on the back or the front if your kit was really orangey and um, then your opposite color would be something like a teal blue or something like that so just go by that buy one of these and then you can see how you go from there okay so so as I said I like the color as it is so I'm just going to begin with a few different color washes um, the first color wash I'm going to do is using the eyelid purple now most of you guys should have eyelid purple on hand um, if you don't you can just go into you know any any YouTube tutorial that tells you how to mix your primary colors to make purple um, but I'm happy with using this one at the moment I will just get myself a brush okay so then I've just got my eyelid purple I'm just going to use a brush of that so when I talk about a brush most people will know what I mean if you've been watching me before it's just a brush on one side and a brush on the other um, now my eyelid purple has been I've had it for actually I think I've had this since I began reborning like 12 years ago so um, it's gotten a little bit not as soft as the ones if you buy one now will be nice and smooth and soft so to fix that up, I'm just going to put like a little drop of um, odorless solvent in there. Now I'll just talk for the people who are into the air dry. If you're using air dry, don't forget you won't need the odorless solvent. You'll be using water. And um, there is, you can get air dry colors in the um, eyelid purple, especially from Luminaire. Um, otherwise, you'll just have to look within um, your color range of your air dry paint and get it's just basically a dark purple. Okay, so I'm going to use my little tablespoons here. I've got a, a range of them from one tablespoon to half a teaspoon. I'm just going to use half a tablespoon at the moment. Okay, so these are just little um, ceramic bowls. You can use anything, you can use a palette. Um, 
but the ceramic bowls are really really good because um, they clean up really easily. Also the clear glass containers um, that you've, you might have seen me use on previous ones, they're really good if you're going to be making a few babies um, and you don't want to throw away paint. I'm trying to make this one because I'm just doing this baby as such. I'm trying to make it so um, I'm making enough paint for each layer that I want. So half a tablespoon and that will be more than enough. And just mixing my paint in. I'm going to just get my camera here. So hopefully you guys can see me still okay too. So I've just got the the eyelid purple on one swipe on either side. And now I'm just going to mix it in there. And you can see what kind of purple it is. As you can see, because my purple colour is a little bit on the age side, it's leaving little dots there, but that won't be a problem. And I'm just going to put another swipe, one swipe side. Now to see what that colour actually looks like and if I'm happy with it, I just squish out the paint onto the side of my bowl and just do like a thin line on my paper there. And I can see that I'm happy with that. I can see it um, and that's the main thing. But it is translucent at the same time. So we don't want, to, we're, not, we're not actually painting our kit at the moment purple. We are just giving it a touch of purple. So I'll just put that aside there for a moment. And now what I'm actually going to be using is a sea sponge. You guys may have seen me use it before. Um, it's a great effect. I should show that. <laughs> You're gonna see the effect of the sea sponge there. It's got all little details in, um, which is really, really good. Um, and those little spots are going to go onto the kit now and just give it that um, depth so it's not all one flat type of um, te texture. I'll show you how it actually goes onto the kit. So I'll just go like this. So what I do is I just swipe in the bowl there, mix it around and just swipe it onto the sponge as so and we're just going to literally pounce it on now you can see there that that is translucent it is not completely purple and if you get any spots that are a little bit more purple than like you like maybe maybe like one little part comes out you just pounce over it and um, blend it out So you can see what that looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover the entire kit with this sea sponge purple. I'm going to go the entire kit and then I will show you how it's looking once I'm done. Now remember the entire kit, you can go over the hands, the palms, um, the under the feet, everywhere on that kit. Just go for it. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so this is after that first layer. Uh, don't be afraid, okay? If anyone has, don't obviously don't get it too dark. It still has to be translucent. But just remember, um, there's going to be so many layers on this that if there is any dark points that you don't really like, let's say you can see, I mean, it doesn't look dark from my angle here, but these two dots here, they are going to go into the undertones. Once I've got some flesh layers and then you've got mixtures of reds and yellows and everything on that, um, 
it's just going to fall underneath as a complete undertone that's what you will want and that's what you'll like so at the moment um as you can see like by this kit here it's still a bit shiny so it's still drying so i'm just going to let them all completely dry and then i'm going to bake them in the oven for eight to ten minutes um now that is um in american terms i think it's on 265 fahrenheit and in Australia, um, that's about 120 Celsius degrees. Um, but my recommendation to you, if you're new into this, you need to sit close to your oven um, and, you know, even touch the kit as you're going. Uh, just monitor that there's not going to be any distortion or anything. That would be horrible. Um, but yeah, that's what you'll need to do. Just keep an eye on it. When you get the kit out after the eight to 10 minutes, it should be hot to touch, just like a hot potato. Um, I've got a really great heat tolerance, so I can normally hold them to carry them over to the table. Um, but a lot of people will need to use like an oven mitt or something to grab the kit with. So that's what you want it to feel like. Um, hot to touch, like a hot potato, no distortion. You don't want to get it out of the oven and it can to be really, really, really soft. Um, other, otherwise it's going into manipulating the vinyl. So um, just see how you go with that and then let's start on the next part now. Okay, so we've done the purple, it's all baked, it's all heat set. Um, if you're doing air dry, of course, you've let it sit there for around 20 minutes. So now we're going to start with, uh, it's a flesh tone yellow. So this is going to bring out a few of the yellow tones and everything, um, but we're doing it with the flesh. So I'm going to start with, again, half a, a tablespoon, yeah, I'm going to use half a tablespoon, sorry, half a tablespoon of the odorless solvent. And I'll get in my camera again. Sorry, little. This baby, even though it's a Sarah kit, um, is actually named Ava. So I'm going to be referring it to Ava a lot, okay? So I'll just put my camera, get that ready, <coughs> so I can show you guys what I'm doing. Okay. Start a recording on that. Okay. So I've got the Flesh 08, and what I'm going to do is I've just wet my brush a little, and I want two of those. Now, I've used a little bit of purple in there, so I've got to make sure I've got all of my purple off of my brush. A little bit doesn't matter too much, especially if it's a little bit. So two, two brushes, meaning I want to get two sides. As you can see, I'm getting it's getting old as well and it's very well used so you can see the color coming to there I'm just keeping an eye on my camera as I go um, because of the minutes left I want to make sure I get in what you guys need to see so that was two brushes so basically four times brushed on one side of the brush Make sure it's all really well mixed in. And then we're going to add just some yellow. Genesis yellow is what I'm using. If you don't have Genesis yellow when you've got something like raw sienna or, um, or the ochre yellow, um, that's fine, you can use that. Um, but I, I prefer the Genesis yellow. It gives, it's gonna give it more of a, a boost. So I just want, that's a nice fresh yellow, I just want like a quarter of a brush. So that's like half of one side. I know it's gone down a little bit, but that's basically what I want. So we just mix that in. And it's just going to give it that hint, that hint of yellow, and that's what we want. See that okay? Now, if you are scared, remember, when it comes to reborning, it's up to you um, how you make that. So if you're really not into the yellow look on reborns, um, then don't put as much yellow in, maybe just a speck in, or put some more of your um, Flesh 08 in there to um, tone that down a bit. Now, I'll just show you that on my mat there of what it comes out like. 
So it's a very light mustard yellow. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to get my, um, okay, so what I'm going to do there is I've got my cosmetic wedge and I'm just going to tear off the end. So grab it nice and tight and just rip it off. Okay, and this gives us a different sort of surface for when we are applying it. And basically we're just going to, get my, sorry, get my little paint there and I'll get Ava over here so I can just show you. Just basically paint it on to the wedge and we're just going to be pouncing it on like that. So you can see there how that looks it's only just a hint of yellow the smallest hint of yellow okay so I'm going to move that over there and I'm going to get back to you guys here so as you can see what I did before I'm just going to pounce it all over the kit just like I did with the purple it's a very translucent color nothing to be afraid of there make sure you get in all the creases um, if you're finding it hard to get in the creases you can use your brush to just help you with that just sort of pounce it in there okay so do the entire kit again and then um, I'll show you how we're going so pounce over the entire kit okay so you can see uh, what tones um, has happened after doing that light yellow well it looks lighter than what you can see in the camera but you can see it's barely there you really cannot see it it's not like I have just turned my reborn into a Simpsons character so it's just lightly done and just as an undertone so now we're going to go on to uh, the red undertone um, that's after you have heat set this and baked it up um, if you want you can you can do the purple, the yellow, and the red I'm about to do, and then bake it. Um, it it's really a personal preference. Um, so go and do that, and um, let's start with the red, hey? Okay, so I think Ava is starting to look pretty good. She's getting her own little features and own little personality there. It's the most exciting part, just watching them come to life, you know? Okay, so let's get started with that next part of the first washes. I'm going to get my camera ready here so everyone can see again. Just turn it on, guys. Okay, so like I did before, I'm just going to again use the half a tablespoon of the odorless solvent and just pop that in there. Just make sure my still got yellow on my brush so I'm just gonna wipe it off like I said before it doesn't matter if there's a little bit you've just got to make sure your brush is well sort of scrubbed off and it'll be fine okay so we're going to use again the flesh 08 and I'm going to use the two brushes which is both sides done twice Okay, so once that is all mixed in nicely, we're going to put some of our red colour in. So I want to put a quarter of your Genesis red, just like that. So it's now starting to really pink up there. And I'm also going to do a quarter of your, your burnt umber. So it looks like it's the full brush there, but it isn't. I've done it just very lightly. So 
this color as you can see is really a nice flesh tone it's got like a slight pink to it so now we're going to just do exactly what we did with the yellow we're going to get our little um, cosmetic wedge and we're going to rip off the end so we've got a textured edge we're going to paint that onto the sponge and literally pounce it completely over the kit okay so go and do that and then we'll I'll show you how we we're going at the end of pouncing all over the kit okay so as you can see Ava here has a beautiful pink hue to her skin now a uh, very lifelike realistic kind of skin color uh, with details and effects under so I need you well just before you go to bake it make sure that you have got no um, paint pooling in any of the creases you know under the legs under the toes everything like that um, you need to make sure it's blended in everything is blended in nicely no pooling and you can do that by just seeing as it dries um, that it's not darkening um, if you get that effect you can like I said just blend it with your sponge or get a little um, dry brush in there and sort of pounce on it um, so I'm going to go and bake this now um, then we're going to come back for our next video where I'm going to work on creases veining and a little bit of detailing we're going to color in the nose give the lip a little bit of color um, so that'll be for the next part and then we'll go to the mottling and the final details so everything's going really great I hope you've enjoyed it so far please if you've got any questions just comment below and um, I'll reply to you thank you talk soon happy reborning <laughs>